Hi. Friends welcome to Tech Blog and in this video, you will find how to install Microsoft Windows Server 2016 and its features. So, why should you install Windows Server 2016? And what's new in it? Let's check it out. Number 1, Nano Server. Nano Server is 92% smaller installation footprint than the Windows Server graphical user interface installation option. It needs fewer updates, and fewer reboots are necessary. Because you have to administratively inject any server roles, from outside Nano, the server has a much reduced attack surface when compared to GUI Windows Server. Number 2, Container, Microsoft is working closely with the Docker development team to bring Docker-based containers to Windows Server. Until now, containers have existed almost entirely in the Linux or Unix open source world. They allow you to isolate applications and services in an agile, easy to administer way. Windows Server 2016 offers two different types of containerized Windows Server instances. One is Windows Server Container, and another Hyper-V Container. Number 3, Secure Boot. Secure Boot is part of the unified extensible firmware interface specification that protects a server's startup environment against the injection of rootkits or other assorted boot time malware. Number 4. RefS File System The resilient file system has been a long time coming in Windows Server. In Windows Server 2016, we finally get a stable version. RefS is intended as a high-performance, high-resiliency file system, intended for use with storage spaces direct and Hyper-V workloads. Number 5. Storage Spaces Direct Storage Spaces is a cool Windows Server feature, that makes it more affordable for administrators to create redundant, and flexible disk storage. Storage Spaces Direct in Windows Server 2016, extends storage spaces to allow failover cluster nodes to use their local storage inside this cluster, avoiding the previous necessity of a shared storage fabric. Number 6, ADFS version 4. Active Directory Federation Services, ADFS, is a Windows Server role that supports claims token-based identity. Claims-based identity is crucial thanks to the need for single sign-on, SSO, between on-premises Active Directory and various cloud-based services. ADFS version 4 in Windows Server 2016 finally brings support for OpenID Connect-based authentication, multi-factor authentication, MFA, and what Microsoft calls, hybrid conditional access. This latter technology allows ADFS to respond when user or device attributes fall out of compliance with security policies on either end of the trust relationship. Number 7, Nested Virtualization. Nested Virtualization refers to the capability of a virtual machine, to itself host virtual machines. This has historically been a, no-go, in Windows Server Hyper-V but we finally have that ability in Windows Server 2016. Nested virtualization makes sense, when a business wants to deploy additional Hyper-V hosts, and needs to minimize hardware costs. Number 8, Hyper-V Heart Add Virtual Hardware. Hyper-V Server has allowed us to add virtual hardware, or adjust the allocated RAM to a virtual machine. However, those changes required, first power down the virtual machine. In Windows Server 2016, we can now, hot add, virtual hardware, while virtual machines are online and running. Number 9, PowerShell Direct. PowerShell Direct enables system administrators to run PowerShell commands inside a virtual machine from the host operating system without having to deal with common networking issues. PowerShell Direct will run PowerShell commands remotely, in the guest OS of a virtual machine with zero configuration, and without needing to worry about security policies, firewall configurations, and the host networking configuration. As a result, PowerShell Direct will work even in the absence of guest VM networking, or if PowerShell remoting is disabled on the guest VM. Number 10, Shielded VMS. Shielded VMS, or Shielded Virtual Machines, is a security feature introduced in Windows Server 2016 for protecting Hyper-V Generation 2 virtual machines 
from unauthorized access or tampering. Hyper-V shielded the MS of protected through a combination of secure boot, BitLocker encryption, virtual trusted platform module or TPM, and the host guardian service. I'm using VMware Workstation to install Windows Server 2016. Let's go and start installing. Select your time and currency format, as per your location. Go ahead and hit next option and then click on install now button. Now setup is starting. From the next window, you will see a list of available OS for installation that is standard edition, data center edition, with GUI and server core. I am gonna select data center edition with GUI. Go ahead and next, then select license terms and click on next. From next window, I'm gonna select custom option then specify the disk location where to install Windows. Here you can see I have 100 GB disk. I'm gonna use entire disk to install the OS. Go ahead and click next. Now set up all coping files. It will take a while. I'm gonna pause this video and resume after copying files. Now we get back after completed copying files and install Windows. Now system gonna restart. Now you have to set up your administrator password. Press Alt Control and Delete. As I'm using VMware Workstation. So, I'm using the toolbar to send the key. Now put your administrator password. Under the dashboard section, you will find the local server and its properties. As you see it's a fresh installation. Few thing you have to set up before proceeding to set any role, for your server. So, let's go and see what we need to change and check first. First, you need to change the computer name as per your infrastructure and environment. Click on a link then click on change button then set your suitable naming convention. In my case, I set it to TechLab01. After changing the name you need to restart the computer to see the effect. But I select restart later at this time to show you other options. Next is workgroup or domain. If you want to join your server to an existing domain then you have to change it otherwise left it. Windows Firewall provides host firewall protection on computers running Windows. Make sure the public firewall is on. You can also set any inbound or outbound rule from advanced settings. In Windows Server, you can use Server Manager to perform management tasks on remote servers. Remote management is enabled by default on servers that are running Windows Server 2016. To manage a server remotely by using Server Manager, you add the server, to the Server Manager server pool. Next is Remote Desktop. It is a very necessary feature, that allows a user to connect to a computer in another location. To manage your server remotely over the network make sure it is enabled. Just go ahead and click on the link and then allow remote connection to this computer. It will enable the remote desktop firewall exception. Go ahead and click OK then apply. You can also select a specified user who can log in remotely. Just go ahead and finally click on OK button. Next is NIC teaming. It is the process of combining multiple network cards together for performance and redundancy reasons. Microsoft refers to this as an IC teaming. 
It is also known as load balancing and failover. It allows multiple network adapters of a computer to be placed into a team for the following purposes. Bandwidth aggregation. Traffic failover to prevent connectivity loss. In the event of a network component failure. Next is Ethernet 0 here you have to set up your server IP. So, to do this click on the link. You will find your Ethernet adapter go ahead and double click on the icon, or right click and then go for properties. Now under the list find Internet Protocol version 4 and double click on it, and then set your static IP and gateway and DNS. After complete hit on OK. In next section, you will find last installed update, windows update and last check for updates. Go ahead and click on the link. You will find the update manager. Here, you can check for new updates and install. Also, you can check update history. Windows Defender, officially called Windows Defender Antivirus is the default inbuilt antivirus to protect your server. Make sure it is on. And it is good enough for you until and unless you install a good spyware and malware protection software. As you use Windows, Microsoft collects diagnostic information from the user which helps to find and fix problems, to improve their products and services and provide you with personalized experiences. They have built ways for you to send feedback in a time. Internet Explorer Enhanced Security Configuration places your server and Internet Explorer in a configuration that decreases the exposure of your server to potential attacks that can occur through web content and application scripts. As a result, some websites may not display or perform as expected. Next is Time Zone. As we have set the time zone at the time of installation but you can change it at any point of time from here. Now go ahead and restart your computer to take effect of those changes which I have made. In next video we cover how to promote your server to Active Directory Domain Controller. Thanks for watching this video. Don't forget like, share and subscribe us. Have good day, bye bye.